Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm ranking every League 2 side summer transfer business so far for the 2022-23 season. Just before we go into this video, again this is just my opinion and there's probably going to be a lot more transfers to go in this transfer window as there's still plenty of time for some marquee signings for some of the clubs. Um, but yeah, I'll be ranking every 24 teams from a scale of, from 1 to 10, obviously 10 being brilliant and 1 being awful so yeah let's get into the video the first team i'm going to be speaking about is afc wimbledon and um, they've brought in two players they've brought in alex pierce from Millwall and chris gunter from um, charlton two experienced um, players in football obviously chris gunter is an ex um, wales international and alex pierce has got a lot of efl experience so i think they're two solid additions but i think the loss of ben hennigan who's gone to sheffield wednesday i think that could be a big loss at center back um, and also Archie Stevens, who's a youngster, um, he's gone to Rangers, so they've got a bit of money for him. And I've also heard that they could be losing Jack Rudonny, um, who could be going to um, the championship. But yeah, I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. Barrow are next, and um, they've brought in a few decent players, I think. Um, Billy Waters from Halifax, obviously, and um, people I've worked with him last season. And they've brought in George Ray at the back from Exeter. Another solid addition, I think, for Barrow. I think he'll improve their squad. And obviously, Richie Bennett um, up top. Um, he's come from Sutton. Quite an experienced um, striker. But I think they've lost two um, big players. I think Ollie Banks is a big loss. He's gone to Chesterfield, returning back to them in the National League. And then Matty Platt, he's gone to Bradford, um, a League 2 rival. But I think they have improved their squad slightly. I'm going to give them a 6.5 out of 10. Bradford City, and I think they've had an excellent window so far. Bringing the likes of Richie Smallwood in from Hull. Um, Harry Chapman in from Blackburn. And Vidane Oliver, experienced striker. Keen Harrett. Um, the list goes on. Um, Emmanuel Sadibi. Um, I think they're going to do well next season. I think Mark Hughes will develop every one of them players. I think he's brought in. I think he's a top quality manager. They did lose a few players though. Um, Paddy O'Connor and Charles Vernon both went to Lincoln and Elliot Watt went to Salford. But I think they've replaced them well and I think they've actually um, improved the side with the signings they brought in. So for that, I'm going to have to give them an 8 out of 10. Brilliant business so far from the Bantams. Carlisle up next and Paul Simpson. He's made some OK additions. I think Ryan Edmondson from Leeds on free transfer. Not a bad bit of business. Um, obviously, Thomas Holly from Ipswich on another free transfer and they brought in Solly Hilton um, on, a, on a loan signing from F Fulham. Um, not bad signings, obviously some of them are a bit unproven. Holly in between the sticks is quite experienced but they've brought in some um, unexperienced players I think. They've also lost Mark Howard, he went to Wrexham, he was their player of the season. Obviously Joe Riley's gone to my team, Warsaw. Looks like a, brilliant, a decent player at this level. Overall I'm going to give him an average score, 6 out of 10. Wayne Brown's Colchester United and I'm going to give them a 5 out of 10. They lost a massive player. I think Brendan Woods is going to be a big loss for them. Obviously going to Fleetwood. But they've brought in two players. Sam Sam Hornby was there on loan last season for an undisclosed fee. And they brought in Alex Newby um, on a free transfer from Rochdale. Can't really comment. Only two signings. Um, only one real big departure really. I'm going to give them a 5 out of 10. I think Crawley Town have really improved the squad. Um, bringing in some quality players at this level, the likes of Dion Con Conroy uh, from Swindon, Don Telford, who was last season's top goal scorer in League Two. Also brought in a youngster, I'm impressed with his James um, Balagizzi from Liverpool on loan. I think that could turn out to be a really good signing at this level. We'll wait and see. They brought in some other um, bit of business, a few youngsters, um, a few unproven players, but I think Kevin Betsy will get the best state of him next season. But overall, I think they've really improved the squad so far, and I think they'll add to it. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Recently relegated Crew Alexandra, um, we're going to give them a 5 out of 10. Alex Morris, I don't think he's really added much quality to the side. I think Courtney Baker Richardson is a good signing. Um, he scored 8 goals in 31 appearances. I did lose 2 players, though. I think that could be... Um, big for League 2, they could have done a job. Scott Cashkit, he's gone to Gillingham alongside um, Manjon, who's also gone back to Gillingham. So for that, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Doncaster now, I think um, Gary McSheffery, he's done a decent job. He's recruited some decent players. He's brought, obviously, George Miller in, who, if he can get the best out of him, could turn out to be a really good signing from Barnsley. 
Um, Harrison Biggins, obviously, he came in from Fleetwood too. He played um, regularly, I think, last season for Fleetwood too. So, not a bad sign in that. And then Luke Molyneux, I'm really impressed with that from Hartlepool. Um, was it, impressed with him last season and had a really good season for Hartlepool. They did lose Bostock though. I think he could have done a job at this level um, at 30 years old. And they've had a solid transfer window so far. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Neil Harris's um, Gillingham, going to give them a 6 out of 10 so far. They've brought some decent additions. Obviously, we've mentioned about Scott Cashkit and Mandron, who have um, come in from Crew. Dom Jefferies, I think that is a good signing um, from Brentford. Impressed with that in the middle of the park. But I think they've lost some key players. I think Jack Tucker, who's gone to MK Don, that could be a big loss and a big position to um, replace next season. He's still young and he... Um, I think he did really well at Gillingham. Um, the Dane Oliver, he's gone to obviously League Two rivals. Um, Bradfield already mentioned about that, but I think Manjon will do a decent job for them next season. And then Ben Thompson, who's gone to Peterborough. So I've lost some key signings, and um, there's still a lot for them to improve, I think. Um, I think they'll do it and um, improve the positions that they'll need. So yeah, I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. Recently promoted Grimsby Town, I think again a 6 out of 10. The players are brought in, I think, are really good. Anthony Glennon from Burnley. I think that's a decent addition. Obviously, Otis Khan. I think that's a really good signing for Grimsby. And obviously, he was at Warsaw. Exciting player um, if he's on his game. And they've also brought in um, Noel Mayer from Halifax Town. Did really well at um, Halifax. I think that's another solid addition for Paul Hurst. His Mariners. I think they've lost a big player, though. Ben Fox, who's gone to Northampton Town. I think that um, is a... Is a loss for um, Grimsby. I think they'll be looking to replace him with a good addition. I think they get that, and um, that is decent. But they've had a, um, a solid start to the transfer window. I think they need a few more additions. I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. Harrogate Town next, and I think I'm going to give them a 5 out of 10. A very average start to their transfer window. Liking the signing of Joe Mattock from Rotherham. I think that's a solid addition for them. Find some unproven youngsters too on loan. Um, let's wait and see how they get on. They could turn out to be brilliant. But I'm just going to go over 5 out of 10 for how we go at the moment. I'm going to give another 5 out of 10 to Hartlepool United. Um, I think, obviously, obviously with Paul Hartley coming to Hartlepool, there's been a lot of Scottish players over, which I'm not um, know much knowledge about. So I can't compliment really on them. But I'm liking the signing of Callum Cook from Bradford City. Really good signing. Um, that's a good sign. But the players have lost. I think it shows they're not really showing the real... Um, intent to keep him. The likes of Timmy Odyssey has gone to Bradford and Luke Molyneux has gone to um, Doncaster and obviously Omar Bogle has gone to Newport. If they'd have kept hold of Luke Molyneux and Timmy Odyssey, now, I would have put them higher, but losing them, I think there could be big losses. I'm going to give them a 5 out of 10. I think Richie Well and Delaney Orton have got to a decent start to this transfer window, bringing the likes of Theo Archibald back on a permanent massive signing for the O's. I think that is going into next season. Also, George Moncure, um on a fee chance, on an undisclosed fee, I mean, um, from Hull. I think they're showing real, I mean, I haven't signed a load of players, but the signings have made of showing a real intent, I think. They've also brought in um, Anthony Georgiou, and um, he looks good. They've lost, um, obviously, Capri New, who went to um, Peterborough and Otis Khan, but I think they've replaced them well. Seven and a half out of ten for me. I think Nigel Clough, obviously, they haven't made loads of signings. Obviously, they've brought in the likes of he ran Boateng from um, MK Dons and Scott Flinders from Cheltenham. Um, two excellent addi additions at this level in League 2. They've also kept a lot of the squad likes of Stephen Quinn signed a new contract. Jordan Berry signed a new contract too. So they're as good as signings, I think, as well. But yeah, I think they've made some uh, good additions. Um, obviously, not a load, but um, I think the two they've brought in. Um, on permanent are decent, so yeah, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Newport, and I'm going to give them a solid 6 out of 10 for their start of the transfer window. I'm liking the additions of um, Aaron Weldig um, from, Mor um, from Morecambe. He had um, a decent time at Morecambe. Also, Drysdale from Coventry, decent addition at the back. Also, the loss of Dom Telford, though. I think that could be a big loss, because at the moment, they haven't really replaced him brilliantly, but they can get the best out of Zanzala. And um, Omar Bogle, and um, that'll work out, I think. So at the moment, I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. Northampton 10, and I think they've had a really good start to the transfer window. Obviously, I'm going to read out the players Lee Burge, Ryan Haynes, um, Danny Hilton, um, Akin Odimayo, 
um, and they also brought in Sam Shering, I think, uh, from Bournemouth. I think they're quality additions also. We mentioned Ben Fox coming in from Grimsby too. Brilliant additions, I think. Obviously, they lost Liam Roberts to Millsborough, but I think Lee Bird can replace him there. And also, they lost Fraser Horsfall, but Odie Mayo from Swindon. I think that's a decent replacement. So, I'm going to give them I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Rochdale next, I think I'm going to give them a 6.5 out of 10. Some of the signs are made. I've actually been impressed with the likes of e, Ethan, Ebanks, um, mm. Lando. I think that's a really good signing for Rochdale. Richard O'Donnell in between sticks will provide experience at this level. We've lost the likes of Corey O'Keefe, who's gone to Forest Green Rovers. And, there's also, and they've also lost Owen O'Connell, who's gone to um, Charlton. So they've lost a few key players, but the players have brought in, if they perform to what they can, I think they could be... Decent replacement, so um, I'm going to give them a 6.5 out of 10 so far. Salford City, and I think they've had a very average start to their transfer window. Like in the sign of Elliot Watt, and um, they've also brought in some other players like Stevie Mallon. And um, I think they're av average signings, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously. But at the moment, it's looking like um, an average start to the transfer window for Salford. They haven't really lost anyone big, really. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to give them a 5 out of 10. They even, I think they've had a solid start to their transfer window. They've brought in the likes of Max Clark, Danny Rose, um, Aaron Chapman, um, who's a goalkeeper. They've also brought in Sweeney from Forest Green Rovers. So I think they've brought in some solid additions. Um, they haven't really lost anyone key, really, too. I know there was a youngster, I think his name was Harrison, who went to Manchester United. But really, they've added some decent quality to the start. Um, to the side and I think Steve Evans is good at getting the best out of players so I think he will with these players I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 Stockport County who've obviously been recently promoted have brought in some um, proven EFL players the likes of Callum Camps obviously Fraser Horsfall which I thought was a quality signing and um, they brought in Connor Lemonhay um, Evans from Torquay you know he did really well there so I think that's a um, exciting signing for them. They're attracting players and um, stop, but obviously they've got a bit of money behind them. And um, I think Dave Challen the next season will do well with um, Stockport. So I'm going to give them a seven and a half out of ten. Sutton and I think they've got to a poor start to their transfer window. They brought in um, Sam Hart from Oldham. They brought in Jack Rose from Warsaw, and they've also brought in um, Thomas from Wrexham. Really, I'm not um, over impressed by their signings. They've lost some massive players too. David Ajiboy, who was important to them. They also have lost um, Dean Buzanis, um, who's gone to Reading. And they've also lost um, Richie Benny, who's gone to um, League Two Rivals and um, Barrow. So they haven't really replaced them with real quality. So I'm going to have to give them a 3 out of 10 for, Bar um, for Sutton. Swindon 10, obviously, they lost Ben Garner. And I think they've lost some of their key players. Mandela Egbo, he's gone to um, Charlton with Ben Garner. They've also lost Dion Conroy, he's gone to Crawley. Oddie May has gone to um, um he's gone to Northampton, obviously talked about that. And it also looks like Jack Payne might not be re-signing, which could be a massive loss, I think. He's one of their key players. The players have brought in, I'm not over keen by him. Obviously last season they brought in some marquee signs, the likes of Johnny Williams. Some of the other players have brought in the likes of Tyree Shade. Reese Devon could turn out to be some good signings. But at the moment, I'm going to give them a 4 out of 10. Trammy of Rovers, and I think they're going for more of a younger approach this season. They've brought in the likes of Ethan Bristow um, from Reading. They've also brought in Hockenhall from Brentford. Resigned um, Ross Doan um, from Celtic on the undisclosed fee. They've brought in a bit of experience in the midfield. John Nolan, good signing at this level. And they haven't really lost many key players too. Peter Clark obviously has gone to Warsaw. Um, but he's 41 now. I think Tramia are looking for the future going into this season. So I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10 Tramia. Finally on to my side, Warsaw. And I'm going to give us a 7 out of 10. I think we've had a solid start to our transfer window. Making obviously 13 signings, which is a lot. But there are some decent ones in there. Owen Evans is a really good signing. Alongside with Isaac Hutchinson. Joe Riley, solid addition in League 2. He's also brought some really good loan signs. I think Liam Bennett. And Flynn Clark from Norwich City. I think they're going to be two really good signs going to next season. Also brought some experience in there with Peter Clark. And I think that's um, a decent transfer window so far. So I'm going to give us a 7 out of 10. There you go, guys. I've ranked every League 2 side summer transfer business so far. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my thoughts. 
Um, just get in the comments, that's what it's for. Um, give me your feedback. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Thanks for all the support on the channel recently. Really appreciate it. And if you can leave a like on this video, that'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.